So now I'm going to show you how to make the bamboo leaves. So I used for the darker color Red Heart with Love Metallic and the color is olive. And the lighter color I used Car Karen One Pound and the color is grass green. For your bamboo leaves you're going to need your 6 millimeter crochet hook as well as a tapestry needle or darning needle and a pair of scissors. For the bamboo leaves I use the green chenille stems and mine I have a pack of them in my um, craft room by Crafters Square. Comes in a pack of 45 different colors so I'm going to use the green ones. So I found that the pipe cleaner wasn't strong enough to hold the bamboo in place so you can use chopsticks work great for the back of the main stem to hold it upright. So the first thing you want to do is cut your pipe cleaner in half and then the you can make two of them with one pipe cleaner. You're going to need one large pipe cleaner, just one, so that you can attach the smaller leaves to it. So the first thing you're going to do is take your darker color, and I'm using my six millimeter crochet hook. So you're going to need your half of your pipe cleaner, and then start with your darker colored yarn, and you're going to start with a slip knot. Go ahead and fold the knot, the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, the six millimeter crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down and cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to stick it right on top of the V, upside down V that's created by your loose yarn end and your main yarn that you're going to be crocheting with. And I'm holding the other end of the pipe cleaner on the opposite side of the crochet hook with my two fingers to hold it in place. And then you want about an inch free. So you want about an inch to inch and a half free. And then you take your yarn hold it on the other side and then you're going to take your crochet hook go under the pipe cleaner and bring up a loop with your crochet hook so that you have two loops on your crochet hook and this is how my pipe cleaner looks at this time then you're going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops for a single crochet then you want to go under again and bring up a loop and then make a single crochet. And you're going to make one single crochet evenly spaced across the end of the, the pipe cleaner. And I ended up with about 15, 14 to 15 single crochet stitches for mine. That's four. You can see how I'm holding the pipe cleaner. And then you're just covering the end of the pipe cleaner essentially with your single crochet stitches. Don't worry if it bends you can always straighten it out after you're finished making your stitches. Now for the last stitch you need to make sure you hold that tip of the pipe cleaner and you'll have some of the pipe cleaner tip free so now I have, let's see how many stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to add a couple more. So I have to hold that tip. 
and you can kind of scoot your stitches too if you need to. So I'm going to add one more to make 14. And you can see how I still have the tip free, and that's fine. So now I have my, my stitches on one side. So now you're going to chain one. And then you could see your stitch. So here is your stitch. I'm just going to show you with the tapestry needle. So you have your front loop of the stitch, and then you have your back loop of the stitch. We're going to be working into the back loop of the stitch only. So here's the back loop here. So take your crochet hook, go right down the center of the stitch, and grab that back loop. Bring up a loop and make a single crochet. And then you're just going to make one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way back down on the opposite side. Then, when you have your last stitch, go ahead and make a slip stitch into that stitch. Just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can chain one, and then we're going to join our new color. So you just take and bring up a loop with your new color, and then just tie a knot, and then cut the previous color. And you can take and bury your loose yarn ends if you want to. I'm just going to bury them later because it might be too thick. Then you just make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next stitch. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three. Then you're just going to make one double crochet in every stitch until you reach the last three stitches on the opposite end. So one double crochet in every stitch and leave the last three stitches unworked and then come back. So now in the last three stitches you're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the last stitch. Then you're going to chain one and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Sorry about that. So now just make a, a single crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet in every stitch on the opposite side, but leave the last three stitches on this side unworked, and I'll work those last three stitches with you. And then on the back here where you have the tip you can take and tuck that under one of the stitches on the tip there. So go ahead, finish making one double crochet in each of the stitches on the opposite side except for the last three stitches on that side. You're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch, then a single crochet into the next stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Then slip stitch into the last stitch on the end. Chain one. And then finish off and leave a long end for sewing. Then 
Then just take any loose yarn ends, place them onto your tapestry needle, and then weave them along the back of your work to bury them. And then just trim them. So then you can go ahead and cover the larger pipe cleaner the exact same way that you did for the smaller pipe cleaner and then bury your loose yarn ends and I used my darker colored yarn. Then you can take one of your bamboo leaves and take the pipe cleaner and poke it in the stitch where you want to have the, the bamboo leaf. Just stick it through and then weave through the pipe cleaner and then you're just going to take and sew the bamboo leaf in place. So take the long end that you left for sewing and just take and sew it in place along the back. You don't want this color to show through so be careful that you don't sew on the dark portion to where it shows through. And then you just take and sew around the pipe cleaner, sewing it in place wherever you position the bamboo leaf. And then on the back, I'm going to take and curl up the pipe cleaner and then just kind of go behind it. And again, I'm being careful not to sew along the area where I have the darker. So I'm just sewing at the base of the lighter color to secure the pipe cleaner. And then that's how I sew the bamboo leaves in place. So you can take and sew your bamboo leaves in place anywhere that you want along the main stem. And then you can take, and once you have it where you want it, you can take and cut or trim any excess pipe cleaner. And I'm using my inexpensive scissors. Some people like to comment because I cut the wire with my inexpensive scissors. So I don't use my expensive scissors for that. Then I just tie a knot and then bury the loose yarn end and then that's how you sew your bamboo leaves onto the main stem. And then you just kind of bury your loose yarn end and then trim it. And then I have one bamboo leaf in place. Now I'm going to sew some more in place. So I need a little bit extra support for the main stem. So I'm going to use my darker colored yarn, the same color as the main stem, to sew my chopstick in place. And that'll help hold it up. So I just take and position my chopstick on there and you want it on the back where you have the pipe cleaner and then you can just take and sew around the chopstick go ahead and tie a knot towards the bottom and I'm leaving a little bit of the Chanel stem on the end there and I'm just using the chopstick as support so I'm going to take and tie the chopstick in place so it will help hold my bamboo leaves in place. So then I'm just going to go in and out just sewing the chopstick in place onto the back of the stem. So then this is what the front would look like. So you wouldn't see it on the front. So it's just on the back to give it a little extra support. So I think it worked great. This is what it looks like on the wrong side and just gives it the support that I need. And it looks good on the right side. And this is what it looks like when you're all finished.
And you can make as many of these as you want for your panda. And then it holds up nicely because of the chopstick on the back.